Hello everyone. How are you all? Hope you're okay. Um, G1 Therapeutics. I've covered this company at least two or three times in the past. I saw it's down 27% today. And let's see. Uh, it's worth noting this company has an average price target of $35. At the time of this video, it's trading at $7.94. Uh, G1 Therapeutics came out with a quarterly loss of $0.59 cents per share versus the Zacks estimate of a loss of $0.64. Cents. This, compares to, this compares to loss of $1 per share a year ago. These figures are adjusted for non-recurring items. This quarterly report represents an earnings surprise of 7.81%. A quarter ago, it was expected that this company would post a loss of $1.04 per share when it actually produced a loss of $0.92, cents, delivering a surprise of 11.54%. Over the last four quarters, the company has surpassed consensus, consensus EPS estimates three times. G1 Therapeutics posted revenues of $23.5 million for the quarter ended September of 2022, surpassing the Zacks estimate by 4.14%. This compares to year ago, year ago revenue of $4.86 million. The company has topped consensus revenue estimates four times over the last four quarters. Um, So let's see what else. Uh, again, uh, so it also has the 8.3 million in net revenue from sales of Cosella uh, this quarter. And the news also is they provided encouraging initial data from phase two trial demonstrating potential of trilisolib to reduce the rates of adverse events related to an antibody drug conjugate. Completed patient enrollment in pivotal phase three trial of trilisolib in metrostatic triple negative breast cancer. Completed patient enrollment in phase two clinical trial of trilisolib in combination with chemotherapy and avulimab in patients with bladder cancer. Announced acceptance of abstract of initial results from phase two trilisolib mechanic mechanism of action trial for poster presentation at the 2022 San Antonio Breast Cancer Symposium. So during the third quarter of 2022, we demonstrated continued execution on our clinical programs, but also experienced lower Cosella sales momentum versus what we achieved in the second quarter, said Jack Bailey, CEO of G1. Regarding the former, today we provided encouraging initial safety data from our ongoing phase two trial of trilisolib in combination with an ADC showing its potential to reduce the rates of adverse events associated with the ADC uh, this is the drug that Gilead uh, produces. We also completed enrollment in our pivotal phase three MT NBC. I've read all this already. Um, G1's mission is to improve the lives of those affected by cancer by effectively developing trilisolib and by ensuing broad access to Cosella. And we remain dedicated to excellence in both areas. So, uh, G1 ended the third quarter 2022 with cash, cash equivalents, and marketable securities of $123 million. So there you have it. Um, you don't need to tell me twice to get in. <laughs> I got in definitely today, seeing this is down 27%. So looking for a nice, nice trade here. So tell me all what you think about G1. And have a beautiful, lovely day. Bye-bye.